Okay, so this is the look we're going for. It's forever glamorous. It's the paint wheel. It's fireplace. So I've already applied the base, um, which is this one, the forever glamorous shadow base. So I applied that. First color I'm gonna apply is this light color right here. Now I'm just gonna go in the inner corner of my lid and just pat that on. When I pat it, you get more of a color, I think. It is very shimmery too, so um, with the fallout, I'm really not too worried about that right now. So I'm gonna go about a quarter on my inner lid, okay? Next I'm gonna use is this bright orange, well, second to brightest orange right here. Um, it's on this side of my brush. So what I do is I kind of just smear it back and forth to get more color. And with that one, I just pat. Pat, 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 okay? Just pat that orange right on in the middle of my lid. I could go into the, blend it in a little bit with that first color I used, okay? Um, next, with the other side of the brush, I'm just gonna flip it over and use the darker color. It's more of this red color right here. So again, just go back and forth, get that color right on there, and pat, pat, pat. Pat that color right on where I was, well, the very last corner of my lid that I have. I'm just gonna pat that in right there. Next, I'm gonna use my fluffy MAC uh, 224 brush and blend that color right on the top. Just kind of go back and forth to get it blend in pretty good, okay? Blend it all at the top so I don't have those harsh lines, okay? Next, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown color. I'm gonna use the Ben Nye. This came with my Luminaire palette. So again, same thing. I just go back and forth with that. I get it with both sides, okay? Get some more color there. And all I'm gonna do is just follow my crease. Follow my natural crease that I have in my eyes and just darken that as much as I want. I go halfway where that orange was at. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go back with the first color that I used, which was that lighter color of a beige almost. And just blend it in a little bit better. Um, I wanna go back in with that orange that I used first. So find that color. And just tap it in. Tap that color right in. And same thing with the, the red. I'm just gonna tap that in right there. Okay. Um, next I'm gonna use is the highlight. Uh, I use this MAC color. It's fl um, floof. Blend that in right at the top. Now, um, I'll probably just go back in with my fluffy MAC 224 and just blend that. And sure, I'll just go with that brown again. Now, um, next I'm gonna go with the color right at the bottom of my lid. So I go back with the darker brown and just bring it right underneath, connect it right at the bottom, okay? I'm gonna use the same colors that I used kind of at the top in the same order. So I'm just gonna go straight to this orange. Right in the middle where I'm missing that color. And then again with the lighter beige right on the inner corner. Okay, um, next I just get my sponge and I'm just gonna kinda clean out the, the fallout from it. I'm um, just gonna go, I'm not gonna make the crease line real defined like if you guys seen in my other video, the Ben Nye, I'm just gonna get it and just go straight up with it. Um, I don't really mind those, those lines right there. Um, next I'm gonna go in with my brows. 
um, using the Anastasia. Okay, um, next I'm going to put some brown liner here. Um, it's with the Benefit, it's called um, Babe Cake. And what you have to do is you have to water activate this. So I'm going to use the brown. I just get a water bottle and I squirt it. You'll see the color kind of runs down a little bit, but I'm only using the brown anyway. So with your brush, mix that color in. It's not going to be too perfect though because I'm I am going to put lashes over it. I'm just trying to do it in a hurry so you guys won't get bored. <laughs> um, next I'm going to go in, I don't know if this is safe, I've heard it's not but I do it anyways. <laughs> I get my eyeliner right on my waterline. Line that up first with a pencil. I use Makeup Forever. And then I go in with my Wet n Wild. This one is a liquid. And I just go right where my waterline was that I followed with the pencil. Oops, I got some in my eye, but it does not burn me, so I must be used to it. Pretty scary if I'm immune to it. Um, next, I'm gonna put on some lashes. Um, probably blend in the color a little bit more at the top and then I'll show you guys the finishing results. Okay, thanks for watching.